Hello guys, if you are looking to transform your Windows desktop from its usual look to something more interesting, in this video, I'll be showing you step by step on how to get this done. Welcome to this channel, let's get straight to it. Now first of all, we're going to hide these desktop icons, we're going to right click on desktop, go to view, then select show desktop icons. After that, we're going to tidy up this taskbar. You're going to remove any icons you don't need. For example, I'm just going to unpin this from the taskbar. Just do this for any icons that you don't want to appear on your taskbar. Now we'll go to taskbar settings by right clicking on the taskbar. Go to taskbar settings. Now we're going to disable any widget we don't need. Okay, disable this widget. Then proceed to change this to hide. Now, as you can see, this taskbar is looking more attractive. Now we'll continue to the next step, we'll go to our browser and all the links I'll be using in this video will be provided in this description. First link here is the team file, we're just going to download this, just click on this icon here. Now download is completed, we'll go ahead to the file location, which is our download and now we're going to extract this raw file, right click on it. I'm using WinRAR here, just extract here. Uh, now this is the team folder which contains some of the files we'll be using in this video, just open it. right click on this wallpaper then set as desktop background now when you head on to your desktop you can see that we have this brand new mac os wallpaper then we'll proceed to the next step go back to your browser and this time we're going to download u widget okay just scroll down here and go to latest click on that then i'm going to scroll down again of all these options just choose this one win x64 click on that now we head on back to the file location, which is our download. And this is the U widget zip file. Just right click on it and we're going to extract. This is a portable app and doesn't require any form of installation. So I'm just going to highlight on it and isolate it by cutting it and sending it right to the Windows C. Okay. I'm going to paste it right here. Open it. Then double click on U widget. It says download now. Just download that. And for you to be able to run this, you need to have the .NET desktop runtime. It's going to launch this website automatically so you can download this on your computer. Okay. In case you already have this on your computer, you can skip this step. Now proceed to install. All right. Close it. Go back to it and double click on that. So minimize this. First thing first, I'm going to bring out all the widgets that we need. Okay. So I'll start with this calendar, select it. We have two options here. I'm just going to choose this one. Next one is the clock. I'm going to select the clock. I'm going to go for the analog one. Just select that. All right. I'm going to drag that to the right side. Next one, I'm going to choose the note, select note. And we have only one option here. Just click on that. And I'm going to drag it right here. Okay. The clock is out. The last one is weather. Just click on that. And of all these options, I'm going to take the first one, select that and drag it out. So now we already have the widget that we need. Okay. Before we come to the arrangement of this widget, I'm going to make some changes right here. Okay. First off, we'll go to general settings, enable run on startup. So we'll go to the next one here, which is appearance. On the accent color, you have system. I'm going to expand this. I'm going to change this to manual. Select this color. So under this marker icon, you can actually change the color tone. You can change it around. This one easy way to change the color. Just move it around here. And if you come right here and click on this icon, you have these very precise color options here. When you click on any of this, it picks up. I'm going for the blue. So at the same time, I'm going to make this blue a bit deeper. Okay. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to drag this down. I think this is fine. This is good enough. And once you're satisfied with the color, we can just tap on that. Now I'll disable monochrome team. When you do that, you can see that you don't have so much of blue colors flying around. After doing that, we're going to go to the next one, which is advanced. Go to advanced settings. On the font family, we're going to change this to Microsoft Yahe. Okay, just select that. And we're going to scroll down a bit here. Disable this snap position. This will allow you to move your widget to any direction you want. Okay. Here we have this widget size. I'm just going to make it 70. Just to reduce it a bit. Okay. So we'll just exit this. X on that. And now we'll just arrange this widget. So we'll just right click on here and set to medium. 
right click on this weather and I'm going to set it to medium as well. So that'll be all about the U widget. Now we'll proceed to set up this macOS dock on the left side. To do that, we'll go back to the website. Right here, we're going to go to Nexus, scroll down here, then choose this option, free download. Just download that. Once that is done, we'll proceed to downloads. Here we have this Nexus zip file, just right click on it. I'm going to extract this. So right click on the setup, run as administrator. Okay, go ahead and accept the license agreement. Go to next, next, next again, then install. Proceed to finish. In case you get this kind of notification, just click on yes. And you go back again to search for Nexus. Click on that. Okay, so now we have this Nexus app right here. Okay, and we don't do anything yet. Okay, go back to the team folder. There we have this dog icon. You just highlight it. And you're going to cut this. Then send to your Windows C. I'm going to paste it right here. After doing that, minimize this. We'll go back to our desktop. Go on to Nexus. And you want to go to general settings first. And here, you're just going to make sure this is checked, okay? Run Nexus at Windows Startup. Okay, so now we'll proceed to advanced settings. Gonna navigate down here, select restore. Now we'll locate the dock icon, okay? Open this dock icons, select this Windows backup, click on open. So now as you can see, we have this beautiful side dock here. Proceed to apply and click on okay. On to the next step. What we're going to do now is to download Rainmeter. We're gonna go back again, and I'm gonna download this Rainmeter app. And here in rainmeter.net, just go ahead here, click on download. Proceed to install it. Just click on this. OK. Next. Install. Then finish. I'm going to minimize this. So you have all these things popping up after installation. Just right click on it. Unload skin. Right click on it. Unload skin. Unload skin. And unload skin. So now we have this Remeter installed. Next thing we're going to do is to add Remeter skins. Okay, we're going to be using two Remeter skins. I'm going to go right now to our team file. So here in this team files, we have RM skins. So we're going to install this Denser first. Just double click on that and install. Minimize this. Okay, here we have the settings. So we don't need all this extra widget. Whatever you don't need, just unload it, unload, and even this weather, I don't need this weather, just unload it. We're only concerned about this, okay? Oh, there's one more here, just unload this one as well. What we're going to do is to reduce the size very easy, just scroll down on your mouse. Um, we don't want to do too much, so just going to make it moderate. All right, I think that's good enough. So we're not done yet with that, we're going to change the color. And the first one we're going to do right here is this color one, just click on that. So the first one, I'm going to change it to 219, okay? And the second one, 200. The last one, which is B, change to 200. Click on OK. As you can see, we have a big grayish white color here. I'm going to change this one too. Now, we're going to change R to 52. G to 150. The last one, which is B, we're going to change it to 207. Click on OK. Go ahead and close the settings. We're going to go to the next Remeter skin and we're going to download Drop Top Basic. Let's double click on that. Select Install. Select Continue. Choose this English, United States. Continue. Select Desktop only. Okay, because I'm using a laptop now, I'm just going to click on this laptop and I'm going to change this to London for the sake of this video and continue. So we have all the options here. So I'm going to select this Apple logo, continue. Select macOS Ventura. Go for maybe later. And now we're done with the setup. Click on finish setup. 
Okay, now we have this drop top four, which is looking good already. And it seems we're already getting there. Uh, first off, I'm just gonna skip this tutorial. The installation of this drop top kind of affected this widget. We're gonna arrange it back. So it's gonna put it back the way it should be. Navigate up here, right click on it and go to adjust size settings. Yeah, we're gonna change it to mini three. It says you need to restart your program restarted. Now, as you can see, we have a moderate looking drop top. Right click on it again. I'm gonna to go to drop top settings. Under options, you're gonna to go to shape. You're gonna enable this, which says divide by intersection. Just enable that and just tap on any empty space here. And before I forget, we're supposed to edit this weather, okay? Right click on it and go to edit weather. Now here, you're gonna type in your location, your city. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna type in London and I'm gonna choose it right here. The first one, just click on done. So now you'll be getting the weather update and forecast within your city. Last step here, which is to download Translucent TV. So go to your Microsoft store. Up here, you're going to search for Translucent TV. As seen here, just click on that. Select install. Once it's completed, click on open. Select continue. All right, I'm going to X on this. I'm going to close this as well. Now, as we can see, we have this transparent taskbar. I'm gonna go right here, expand this. We're gonna to navigate to this icon here, the Translucent TV icon. Just right click on it and go to your desktop. And here we're gonna change this to acrylic. Let's select that. Now we have this blur effect, which goes well with this setup we have right here. Go back to Translucent TV, right click on it. Select this open at boot. So you're gonna ensure this is checked, okay? So every time you boot your computer, the Translucent TV automatically starts, okay? This widget here are not so visible. We're gonna solve that right now. Just right click on your desktop, go to personalize. Select colors. On that choose your mode, you're gonna go right here and go to custom. Here in choose your default mode, go right here and change it to dark. Now, as we can see, this widget can now be seen clearly so that is that about this video. I hope this is helpful. If it is, do well to subscribe to this channel, leave this video a like, and also leave your comment in the comment section. Thank you guys, and have a nice day. Peace out.